Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. Finally woke up, huh? Don't try and struggle. You're bound to that chair. You're not going anywhere for a little bit. Just sit tight for me. Oh, you were home for an hour or so. You were home when you actually got back from work, you fell asleep. Well, not naturally fall asleep. I gave you a little shot of my own uh, making. A little bit of uh, what I call a liquid anesthesia. Put you right back into a unconscious state. And although, usually, once I uh, get into somebody's house, I inject them with it. And usually puts them to sleep for about three, five hours. Just enough time for me to perform my surgeries. But I didn't give you the full thing, because, well, I didn't need to. You see, you lived quite near my childhood home. And so I only gave you half of it. Put you asleep for about a good two hours. Enough time for me to carry you back into, well, here. Yes, this is my childhood home. I remember living here when I was a small, innocent child. But those days are far past me. What about you? Your childhood home was the one I took you out of, wasn't it? You always lived there with your parents. And now you're a fully grown adult, still living there, but have plans to move out. Right. Money? <laughs> Funny to think that I need money. Do you not see what I look like? You really think that I could do anything in this world right now looking like the way I am? I'm sorry. The mask, it's a pit off putting. It only is for me to hide my identity. Here. This is what I truly look like. Only a face a mother could love. And yet she didn't. I have no idea how I ended up like this. And yet... I am still alive after all these years of living. I have no eyes, yes, I have none. 
but yet I can still see. It's a very strange, somewhat, something like a story out of a fairy tale of a blind man who can still see perfectly fine. It's quite interesting. Of course, I can put my mask back on. What I want with you is simple. I don't want money. I don't want fame, fortune, anything of the sort. I gave up my likings of a regular humanoid life a very long time ago. All I need is what's inside of you. You still don't understand. I was a human like you once. I was going to go to college for medical. I wanted to be a surgeon, a doctor. I wanted to help people. But ever since that day, that turned me into this thing. It made me a monster of some sort. My skin turned into a pale blue, like I was decaying from the inside out. My tongue turned into four. My eyes practically melted out of my skull. My blood turned as black as tar. And yet I'm still functional and breathing. But I have noticed that some of my body has decayed over the years of how I've been alive. And so I use my skills from medical. I use them to procedurally remove parts of fresh living bodies and reattach them to my own. Not even a month or so ago, I had to replace my own vocal cords because they were so decayed and fried. I took them from a person, and I replaced my own vocal cords with theirs. Although my regular voice was a lot more deeper, I'm pretty sure that they did not mind and I, all, quite honestly, didn't mind either. The freshness of these vocal cords were just enough for me to have my own voice back. No, I don't need your vocal box or your vocal cords. No, I don't need any of that. What I need from inside of you is your kidney. Or both of them, if I'm feeling... hungry. Kidneys from fresh human bodies is the only thing I am able to consume properly now. It has been a craving ever since I've turned into this creature. What society calls me of a monster, a creature of the night. Although their words cut deeper than any knife could, 
I still take it with a grain of salt. But don't worry. After I'm done cutting into you, and taking what I need to sustain myself, I will stitch you right back up and make it look like nothing ever happened to you. Why not just do it at your house? Like I said, you lived very near my childhood home. And I wanted somewhere familiar for once to take what I need. And plus, laying down all sorts of newspapers and other sorts of things to catch the blood on the floor. It takes an extra an hour or so of prepping. That's why I made my own Anastasia to make sure that even the livelihood of fresh human bodies are as still as corpses while I do my surgeries. But I think it is about time. So please, hold still while I inject you with the rest of this needle. Shh. You don't need to scream. 